Um, okay, so I'm just saying, California talking. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get that. We went off topic. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to get into um, yeah. California. You know, Zed, uh, he has his opinions. Or, excuse me, Alonzo. He's, yeah. uh, he's identifying as Alonzo today. <laughs> And he has his opinions on California, and uh, and this bill was a part of it because it's a California legislator. It's something that we'll be voting on in California, and he just feels like the state of California is failing us, and it and it it's is. a failed state, and it's a it crashing is. state. And why do you believe that, is it? All right, Lonzo. I'm Alonzo, sorry, Alonzo. brother. It's, sorry, brother. It's, it's fine. I just want to be. I, I identify. You want to be pure today? Yeah. I, I identify as Alonzo. Okay. Facts. Okay. Let me just say this. Well, where do you start? Your taxes is higher than everybody else in the country. Your gas prices is higher than everybody else is in the country. Crime, sure? crime rate, oh my God. So I'm pretty sure you could tell us about the crime rate in California. Bro, San Francisco looks like Libya. Honestly, if you take away the Golden Gate Bridge, is is bro, I, I kid you I, not. I would say LA is more Libya than. Bro, listen, just pick, just look, spin the wheel. You won't miss it. I promise you, bro. L.A. running out of control. I mean, but I'll, we've always kind of had this fear of crime in L.A. Fair to say? Parts. <laughs> uh, parts, right. The, we, parts, the parts I, I stay away from. Yes. Listen, we know that L.A. is a little shaky and it's been that way. So it, that's nothing new. But what, I, what all I'm trying to say is, and it goes back to voting, right? Mm. But, man, the Democrats have run run this state into the ground. And this is why. People are leaving all the way from the top to the bottom. And mm -hmm. what I mean by from the top is you've seen people leave out of Silicon Valley. Elon Musk moved out um, Tesla and moved it to Austin for the tax breaks and things of that nature. People here. Man, how many people you know that moved to uh, uh, Vegas, moved to Arizona, moved to Texas and have a prosperous life? Mm -hmm. Now, listen, I, I'm not saying that... Um, Oh, you need to move out here to make it. But what I'm saying is it's a little easier. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. If you didn't have state taxes and gas prices was a little lower. You know how much I pay in taxes a year? I, look, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's I'm just I'm, saying. Just think about it. I, aren't your taxes in Nevada, though? Or? Yeah, but the thing is I still have to pay taxes here. Okay. Yeah. Just, all right, back, back to yeah, – just, we'll talk. Just yeah. for clarification. Yeah. Just for clarification. <laughs> but even like with truck drivers, bro, they always put enough gas just to make it to, to the next state. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, bro. They fill it up. No, they do not. You talking about oh, well, they. they I'm saying they, they get yeah, gas that, here and then get just it to here. make it to. Tell, yeah. makes it to well, you need to clarify that I, because when you said they just make, no, you said they just get gas to make it to the next day. You need to tell them they, why though, because they fill up in Arizona or something like that. That's what mm -hmm. you need to say. Okay, so yeah, um, that's why everybody they they do that. But what I'm telling you is, Cali even just laws and uh, just trying to get. Little licenses is it's so hard. Mm. California, oh no, uh, uh, in certain spots, oh no, alcohol, no hookah, X, Y, Z. You go to the south, they got alcohol, hookah, fucking guns, everything right there. It's just, it's just kind of like man, California is is so restricted, and they and they want to be in your business, and then they want to charge you an arm and fucking leg. Yeah, Re registration. Damn, I got to pay for registration on top of the car that I already got to pay for. I have to pay a down payment, pay the monthly, uh, the month, the monthly, uh, what is that? Shit? Insurance. Not insurance, but the, the monthly uh, car payment, car payment, Yeah. put gas in it. Oh, get an oil change. Oh, by the way, California needs you to make sure you pay your $200, $400 just so we can put a sticker and know where you at. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, bro. I get jealous. It's when not four hundred. It's actually eight hundred dollars. California, no. though, is it's a luxurious yeah. state. It's meant, it's meant to be luxurious. Oh, you mean uh, yeah? It's meant to be it's luxurious. To, I'm there, sorry. there are still parts that yeah. are very. Are you talking very about? Nice. Are you talking about California that represent thirty percent of the homeless people in California? But I mean, those in the United were, States. Where do they place those homeless, yeah. bro? Fuck it. Have you been to San Francisco? You walk two steps, there's a homeless person. But it smells like I'm shit. I'm sure there's parts of San Francisco where there's no homeless. Bro, it's where the very rich stay and they don't have to deal with do the you, homeless. Do you we think, don't deal with that. Bro, in, listen. Uh, okay, let me take when we went there. when we went to San Francisco for that trap art shit, there's a fucking homeless person standing right there in front of the ATM. You, bro, but it's that was downtown. That that's I ain't gonna lie, you town and bro. Key, keyword trap art. No, 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 no. You but, think they're gonna allow that at okay. like let's say uh 
Let me just Daily City. I was, Daily City nice? I was in mm-hmm. downtown San mm-hmm. I was in No, maybe I was in oh, I'm not familiar. Bro, you know downtown San Francisco where they have the little Gucci stores and all that shit at? Yeah. Homeless people. Bro, yeah, I swear to you, it smelled like piss and shit. You go to LA, they got a city full of homeless. Literally, a city of Bro, I was just with, I was looking for him. Bro. <laughs> hey, why? Bro, I was in we we went to LA. I went to LA fucking uh what, what's this? 23. I was in LA uh early early last year. Okay. Okay. Before the debacle. And bro, the person I was with Oh, this is Hollywood. Hollywood. The yeah. fuck? It looked like I was. In, <laughs> I looked like I was in. Uh, it was uh, in Beverly Hills though? Bro, listen. Let me tell you something, JJ. I'm talking about Hollywood, where the fucking stars and all that shit is at. Literally, it looked. It looked like an apocalypse. Like it was. I, it was fucking terrible. I, I, you know, I hate uh, really agreeing with him, but the homeless, homeless California is ranked. They they have a third of the nation's. Population of homeless. Oh, we, like, we it's make up thirty percent of other nations like, homeless. Cali- but we also make up a lot of the population in general, though. It's forty million people I think live in California. I, I, I I'm almost standing to be correct on that. But let me tell you this: the homeless is out of control. I just seen right now. I was reading stories before I came in here. L. A. They got 33 percent of their their like downtown spaces are all empty, mm. all empty because of the homeless. Like. Can we queue it up? It, oh, you want to see the homeless? Okay. Yeah, like, like the, like it's terrible. Like Tent City and all Look of that. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. That, that's that, LA. That, that yeah. actually, I mean, that's that's this is downtown Frisco. Look at this. Yeah. Like it's, it's like cool. it's really it's really like that too. Like, this, this is terrible. Man. Like they setting fires to stuff on there, and they're not doing it on purpose. It's like you know when they cold at night, they like to set a fire, but they burned they burning a lot of buildings. Uh, vandalizing like a lot of people are leaving here and going straight to Texas. They're going to Texas. They're going to Texas. They're going to Arizona. Arizona, Nevada. Yeah. Taxes wise, you know, even Cost Arco. Living? Ar- uh, Arco is they left. They going there. Tesla. They they left and went to Texas. Like it's crazy. I, even one of my uh, good friends, he talking about moving to Texas, moving his business to Texas because of the taxes. Yeah, a lot of people. Um, my sister and them, they were going to move to Texas. When you start making money, like you really don't see it. I have a statistic right here that is like crazy right now. Yeah, it's it's sick, bro. Look, and, and I'm gonna just say this: if you live in California and just say your gross income is 1.5 million dollars, okay, federal federal taxes is 513 thousand dollars out. Sales tax, I mean state tax, 184 thousand out. Social Security, nine thousand out of that. Medicare. Thirty-three thousand state disability sixteen hundred total taxes deducted seven hundred thousand forty-one and eighty-eight and eighty-eight dollars. So out of one point five million dollars, you're taking home seven hundred thousand and fifty-eight dollars. Mm-hmm. Now our taxes here is crazy. Like the rates of that is they're insane. It's crazy. Then on top of that, I can see. Look, man, if we if we living in a state where shit is just clean, nice, mm-hmm. uh, the crime rate is down, it's not so shitty, bro. Roads is shit. Yeah, and and let me just right. let me circumvent back to the homeless situation. I want to say, out of the homeless, right? Let's say forty percent of them are just just wanting to be homeless, mm-hmm. right? What? Let me say this too. What I just read too. When you say homeless, that means that they want to have a home. They don't want to have a home. No, no, no. Just let me just say this. Do you have Seriously. They don't want to they don't want to have a home. Forty percent of them are are in that group of 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 uh drug addicts. Right. You have people with mental health issues. Mm-hmm. You have people that just kind of fell on hard times and trying to figure shit out. Right. So I don't I don't want to sit here and make it seem like homeless people are run, ruining California. They right? are. It, no, no, no. But what I'm telling you that is, is syphilis, for sure. I don't know about that. But but what I'm telling you is, this is a problem. But we're giving we're giving oh we're giving billions away to Ukraine. But can't but, fix this shit, and they this, lost. Is this fixable? Of course, it's fixable. How? Okay, how? We have to start with. We have to. The government has to start making programs. But uh, let me say this: they do though, don't they? No, no, no. But, but they benefit. Say, no, no, no. Listen. 
the top people that's supposed to be fixing this shit, they're just taking the money and not mm-hmm. and not doing what they're supposed to do, bro. Right. Let me just tell you something. There's so many empty, empty lots, empty vacant mm-hmm. things that they could come up with. There's a pro- bro. Just think about. It. All right, we're gonna take a old hotel. We're gonna fix it up, clean it up. We're gonna have security. We're gonna check everything. We're gonna help you get. We're gonna reinduce you back into the into society, the to society. society. But we're gonna get you cleaned up. We're gonna get you the mental help that you need. Do people want to be cleaned up? Do I you think, think the this scar is making it seem like you can't breathe? Because every no, time you yeah, you, the, you're breathing a little hard. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm hard. fine. Are you okay? No, no, no. I'm fine. Okay. But let me just tell you. Up. Yeah, no, it's, no, no, no. <laughs> Damn, you all right? I need silence real quick. Okay, good. thank you. <laughs> what I'm telling you is, the programs that's supposed to help you, mm-hmm. the top people are not doing that. There's no way in hell that we are building up other countries and can't fix this. No. We have 100, 170,000 plus homeless people in California. I'm going to tell you why they why it's not fixed either right now. Their whole thing is let's give them a place to stay. Like, you know, if you go down there to the Salvation Army, how they got those little huts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They're letting them move in there. Do you but, think all those people can fix it? No, there? just hold on. They're letting them move in there, but they're not getting them clean. They're not like, hey. Go to a mental facility. Get drug free. You get what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's why we still. I think still, that's a part of it, though. No, it's, but they're not doing it, though. That's why we're here. Like, half of these but people. I think a lot of homeless people are homeless because they want to be. They're not really homeless, then. They just list. I don't know how. I, I'm not going to put a percentage on it. Mm-hmm. But I just think. And also, you got to take into account that we're in California. For sure. So this is what ha- ends up happening. Like, a lot of people probably move to L.A. with big dreams of wanting to be a movie star. Yeah, sure be an entertainer. 100%. Let's say they come from Idaho mm-hmm. alone. Mm-hmm. They come out here. They they fail. Mm-hmm. They're homeless. They don't want to go back home. They yeah. They get caught up in the California, the 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 elements. Well, and they're like I'm not going back to beautiful. Boise. I'm staying here. I'd rather just be homeless in Hollywood, smoking dope, than return back to Boise in this form. Well, in this I will shape. say this. Go ahead. San Francisco homeless population. Sixty four percent of them are drug addicts. And let and me just a, tell you, what, that's a, San Francisco yeah. has decades of of drugs. Of drug scenes, right? Mm-hmm. You got the hippies, you got the LSD people, mm-hmm. you, you got so many crack started in Oakland y- across the yes, bridge. yes. Yeah. You have so many epidemics of drugs that has happened in eras, right? So those people, I would say, want to be right because once you get that's hooked quite up, a bit too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sixty five percent. Sixty four. Sixty four. I'm rounding up a little bit. So okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Sixty five. Yeah, I'll say. But a you, got, and you got the fentanyl people. You got different different decades. They're hitting every wave almost. Yeah, different decades have brought different drugs in. Yeah, and so a lot of people like I'm not gonna lie, driving on the west side of town, those people are out of it. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I I hit a homeless person coming back from your house at nighttime, and I don't know what. <laughs> No, no, no. He, this person is. I think is, it passed a statute of limitations. I, my statute of limitation is up anyway. And I saw him get up and walk away. He took it like a champ. I, I kid you not. I, call, I called you afterwards. Yeah. Bro, but I don't know why homeless people, they want to wear. Bro, listen. This is also why I'm covering my face. Homeless people. Alonzo. Homeless people love wearing dark clothing at nighttime. Why? I don't know. Was it on G Street or was it not? It was on Street. I once told someone G Street is probably the worst street in town to be texting and driving. But I wasn't even texting, Stop texting and driving. I wasn't texting and driving. Oh, I was maybe a little under the influence, but I, I would <laughs> But listen, this is what happened. Listen, I'll, I'll make it quick. I'm driving, just leaving JJ's, going back downtown, and I'm driving. Do 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 do. Keep in mind, I really can't see. And then all I feel is like a you're I, building a case against you. No, that's okay. <laughs> I hear a boom. I said. What the fuck? <laughs> so I drove a little it's bit like, more. He went nowhere. Yeah. I said, what the fuck when they start putting speed bumps up like that? <laughs> so I drove forward a little bit longer. And then I said, I stopped. I got out the car, look back. I opened my door. <laughs> this motherfucker was like this. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I said, oh, you are right. And I kept going. Like, hey, bro. JJ, get the, don't put this shit on air. I'm no, but what I'm God. telling you is, this bro. Is but, no, listen. And I'm going to tell you again. I, I hit a, almost hit another hey, person. Let, okay, listen. All right, let's keep going. Yes, let's talk about the hidden shit. All right. Okay, but what I'm saying is, home, that homeless person, right, 
was in the wrong because you're not supposed to be crossing the street. I would have lost everything all because of him. Yeah. <laughs> just think about it that way. Yeah. That's, <laughs> think a about, that's a D- that's, Just think about it. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. So Vehicular. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, I, I'm with Alonzo with this homeless situation. But California is for rich folks. Exactly. And they, they want to make it that way. And that's how they're making it, for they rich really folks. They really want to make like, it that way. They're making it for people who has, like, 500000 who's making over $500,000 a year. Seriously. And the Bay is a good example of that. All them little, uh, the they call them the, uh, by like Marriott? The Jets. You know, the oh. Jets is projects. Mm-hmm. All that shit's coming out. All, they're doing away with that. They're doing away with that. That's why certain people they live in Merced, they live in Modesto, they live in Stockton. They then they travel out there for work. You Can know I, what yeah, I mean? Facts. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why they do that. Th- that's where that Fresno. Train, let, let me speak on that a little bit too. That's like where that me, train is going. Me being someone who currently lives in Westside Fresno, mm-hmm. yep. they're even pushing people out of Westside Fresno yep. and pushing them to the smaller towns mm-hmm. that border Fresno, like Fowler. Kerman, mm-hmm. Sanger, and they're putting them in low income apartments or yeah. low income homes. If yeah. they can't afford to purchase a home there, or not necessarily purchase a home there, but purchase a home outside of Westside Fresno, mm-hmm. they're like, okay, well, if you can't afford to live anywhere in Fresno, we'll let you live in Fowler low income apartments mm-hmm. or in Kerman low income apartments or mm-hmm. Sanger low income apartments. Yeah. They're clearing, they're kind of pushing people out. And even the rich people are the people who, can't afford to live places that mm. say, say they stay in Clovis. They're even kind of pushing more people into Clovis. They're putting low income apartments in Clovis. Yep. And mm. Clovis residents are against right that. Right there by T Pack House. Yeah. And they're, they're people that I know that has lived in Clovis all their lives. They're going up to the minarets. They're going up mm. into the hills. They're yeah. like, they're avoiding all of that yeah, homelessness. Right. They're avoiding all of. All of the stuff that uh, we're talking about, as far as like yeah. poverty, because you exactly go up to uh, you go up to like Coarse Gold, or you go out by Table Mountain, ain't none of that out there. We'll Imagine being homeless, living by Table Mountain. You, they're gonna get you, and they're gonna drive you back to town. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, buddy, yeah, you're lost. Like, what are you doing here? Yeah. They're gonna drive yeah. you back to town with the rest of the homeless. You don't play that, and let you live. Wherever hell, oh, wherever the hell else you <laughs> yeah. want to live in Fresno, <laughs> we'll get you anywhere but here. Nowhere so. in Fresno is off limits right now. Yeah, They're like, oh, hey, if sure. you want to stay here in the ninety nine, you, I mean, River Park. Do we see any? It's not as bad. Maybe I'm, like Pinedale area. Because Pinedale's yeah. right there in River Park, yeah, they probably push you into Pinedale. Yeah. But they're they're they, they're already pushing people into those smaller towns. Yeah. They already got it mapped. To me, I think it's all an ultimate plan. Yeah. Like the the higher ups, they know what they're doing. They're gonna figure this sure shit out. Plan. They're gonna figure this shit out. So would you say that? Because n- when you guys said that, kind of like, all right, I know people that say, oh, I don't stay in San Francisco. I st- I stay outside the city, and then I just commute there. Yeah. I, I, I get I, that analogy. I'm going to give you another one. Like, uh, my neighbor, she she got her house built. Uh, she got her house built right next door to mine. Her and her husband, they sold their house, and uh, they was living in, uh, I want to say this word so bad, Paliato. Is that how you say it right? Mm-hmm. Paliato? Paliato. Yeah, okay. They sold their house for, I think, like a little less than like 900000 <laughs> Came, brought that over here. Mm-hmm. She retired early and he just go to work part time, but they just live off the money. They bought a house for about 380000 Oh, yeah. Paid yeah. it off. Yeah. Now they just live, you know. Yeah, if California like, is for the maneuvers, man. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I personally would never leave California. Like, right I now. I personally wouldn't. Would. I wouldn't. I mean, if I leave Cali, it'd have to be like I've made so much. I've been so successful in this state Mm -hmm. that I can just say, you know what? I'm going to just go. I'll probably go to Texas, Houston or Dallas. Are you opposed to their, their laws, though? I don't know the law. I'm I'm a law abiding citizen. You think yeah. I'm worried about law? Yeah. No, 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 no. You no. think I'm worried about the law? Like I will move anywhere. I'm not worried about law. No, no, no. no. What I what I'm saying is, you take a Cali person, right? Let's yeah. take let's take us, and you put us in Texas, and people just sitting there with guns and stuff. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna have one too. Like I'm not gonna lie, bro. If someone got a gun next to me, I feel really uncomfortable. It's just kind of like, bro, you already got you got. I'm kind of partial to, to guns, but yeah. like you know, like now if you're someone that I know and you're on my side. Yeah. Oh, I have one too. Like yeah. you showing yours. I'm, yeah, I'm but put mine on the dining table. Like, <laughs> so yeah. am I. Honestly. So am I. <laughs> yeah. But it's just kind of more like when we go to those conservative states, you have to vote conservative, or you don't have to I vote at all. Voting. Like, I don't. I don't. I'm not a voter, that. brother. Yeah. I live on the black market. Yeah. What does that mean? Partially, like it's certain things that I feel like they do affect you. I take them as they come. 
I take like with this law, like we talked about the assembly nine five yeah. seven law. I have no children; doesn't affect me. Do you want it, children, it's, though? It's, yeah, at some point, and mm -hmm. then I will deal with it when it comes. It's gonna be and too then, late. But it's gonna be too late then. But I would say this: I'm this not is, raising no uh, none of that. You know what I mean? In my household, <laughs> you know, it's good. Well, we're, yeah. we're gonna have a lot of knowledge of self in my household. No, 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 a lot absolutely. of knowledge of self. It's absolutely. no imagination is something we use as creatives, not mm -hmm. as like lifestyle. You right. know, we're not dressing up. Even on Halloween, but would you, you say know? that's part of our problem? Like I, I'm gonna, no, like I said, it's not. It's no, 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 no. It's being attentive to your child. No, no, no. no. I'm not talking. That's about that part. a part of our problem. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that part. I, yeah. I, I believe on yes, be there 100. percent That's no one talking. I'm talking about as far as like us feeling like no, nah, we don't need to vote. That's not my problem. That's not like like black folks. I don't know why, but it's just like a minority thing. Like we really don't feel like like that. Don't pay attention. Like we feel like this country is not like. I, this no, it's not like that. But I just feel like you know it don't pertain to us really. We're gonna have to like still go and work. We're gonna pay. Like it's just it's not affecting us because we're not in that bubble. Like yeah. voting really matters to people who's like, oh my gosh, like they're doing something like taxes. Like y'all pay regular taxes. A lot like, of it is a lot of it's culturally biased. I don't want to sound stupid, but that's kind of like true though. Like it don't really like the shit don't matter. The same shit your grandma was going through, your mom was going through, you going through. Fuck no, my grandma just told me a story how she went to the movies with twenty five cent. I'm so fucking jealous. But yeah, but you know, like times change parts. That Hell inflation. Like bro. that's not like voters have nothing to do with that. I, I you know, know what I, I mean. I was, I was you being, can you can blame Martin Luther King for that. I, yeah. I was. Yeah. Yeah. My thing is, I'm not leaving, man. I. I Bye. And, and I'm different because maybe like. Where I've lived for maybe a good three quarters of my life yeah. is where the homeless kind of roam. Like yeah. I've once lived around the corner from the homeless village, a literal homeless, oh, yeah. a literal homeless village. Remember they had the whole freeway blocked yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. That so was crazy. I'm, I'm I'm a little more like tolerant to homeless. Like I go to my gas station. I'm I gotta give home. I don't have to, but I give homeless quarters. I, I I'm not threatened by the homeless, and I know like. If I want a better life, I'm have to work for a better life. I'm right, not. Right, I'm not right, blaming right, right. the 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 po po yeah. politics. I I know enough of these people to know like you're here because you want to be. Yeah, for and sure. And you're, you're you can work. You can figure out something. There's a lot. There's a lot of money opportunities in California as well. Yeah. Yes, California is. is a very prosperous state, and it's We're built the for the strong, one. and it's built for the hustlers. If you're a, a, a steady hustler, maybe you gonna fall under the wayside. But for uh, apex hustlers, California, you can eat. You yeah, can you make so money. You, you can so live good. amongst these people. You, you can so figure good. out a way to manipulate the system if if you're not systematically correct. You yeah. can. It's about mentally. Uh, 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 being able to overcome, and right now I'm in a position of where, where I'm, uh, where I'm, uh, employed. Mm -hmm. I'm always make money. Once I reach the position I want to reach, I'm always make money. We're we're right now fighting for more wages, and we're gonna get them. Shout outs to uh to the union, and we're oh, gonna, <laughs> and we're gonna <laughs> get them. My health care is paid for. My benefits are a one even now as a part time employee. I see so that. I'm in position mm -hmm. to win. So. Maybe I'm selfish, but I don't look at other people and think like, damn, your life is fucked up. No, I look at my families. I look at my closest knit, mm -hmm. my loved ones and say like, we winning. We all right. Yeah. It's a couple of us that's not winning, mm -hmm. but we, we should maybe all focus on them. But they're not winning, too, because they don't want to win. Right. They're skilled and knowledgeable to, to win. If they don't want to win, that's on them, too. It hurts, but. It's the truth. The no, truth is true. the truth. So I, I don't look at everybody else and how they're living. I personally look at the people that matter to me and how they're living. And I think, like, uh, even as blacks, like, we shouldn't even focus so much as all black people. I think we should just start in the home first and, and then the family and get that built up and then start worrying about the other black people. Like, yeah. worry about your family first. Yeah, That's how far down we are. Mm -hmm. We can't worry about... Uh, millions of blacks We need to just worry About the 20 to 25 people That we love and Absolutely Try to build them up And then once that's there And we can see like Okay other black families Are prospering Then start worrying About millions We gotta start small And that's kinda where I'm at Like California Love Cali Probably would never leave I'm not bothered by homeless When I was in LA I was damn near Trying to look for homeless But I <laughs> I, I, I just Shit how did you not find them I didn't see many I, I've seen more Leaving home When you went to the hotel That we went to Yeah I didn't see homeless down there. <laughs> What? I didn't see him. I seen it was a couple disturbing the peace, and I didn't appreciate it. 
<laughs> for the prices I paid, I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. This hotel that shout out to JJ. Nice shout ass out, hotel. What's your name? Levels. Uh, levels. Oh, downtown yeah. Los Angeles. Downtown yeah. LA. Nice. Not, very nice. No short of homeless people down there. Please. I didn't see them. I, we, we drove straight down Pico. Yeah, it's all the way to uh Pico. <laughs> all the way to Santa Monica. I didn't see any alarming rape you of wasn't homeless. I was pay, paying a lot of okay. attention. But let me say this nice hotel, by the way. Good balcony, had dinner and stuff there. But listen. That LA is crawling with homeless people. I'm going to get off the homeless people right now. I want to switch it to my story right now about the crime rate in the Bay. Oh, yes, I am talking about you beepers or blippers. What is it? Bip? Bip, 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 bipping, bipping. I, if I could, <laughs> when they told me that the Bay was in flooded, I was happy. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was happy. They bit me a mill, and I'm still not over it. That's all I wanted to say, actually. You want to tell a story about? Tell yeah, us, please tell share us, the tell story. Us, oh, fine. Since you guys drug it out of me, and those weren't homeless people. Those people went. No, those was niggas comfortably. That, <laughs> those was niggas that did this. <laughs> those was niggas that did this. Yeah. <laughs> so, me and Mill, we all go to eat at a nice restaurant on the lake, right there, uh, Lake Marriott. I love that place, by the way. Me and Mill, and I'm telling you, I'm sitting down just like this, and me and Mill, I think we kind of parked like a little bit, like halfway in somewhere we wasn't supposed to be parking at, but we, you know, we had a longer vehicle, and we, you know, having a nice little steak, wine, everything, oh, beautiful, and I'm like, Mill, and I really can't see, I'm like, Mill, I think they're giving us a ticket, oh, don't worry about the Arkansas, good, we'll, we'll. so I'm on the phone walking out, and Mill go, ah, all I see is this, ah, I'm like, what? He moved just a little bit. I see the window. I was like, oh, my God. And see, we will have all our stuff in there because we just left one hotel because of the surrounding area. So we can go move to a better hotel. And I'm like, oh, my God. I think they took Mill Keys. And just so happened, I told Mill, I was like, bro, let's just put on our jury. Mm -hmm. Like, let's put on our jury. Don't leave it in the car. And I told him, I was just like, and he was like, no, nah, I don't want to put it on. And he put it on. Hey, I'm talking. Good. And he put it on. I was like, cool. So, yeah, they took all our stuff. But, you know, just so happened we had went to the casino the night before and had a good uh, a good night. And we went to the mall, got everything back. But, yeah, man, I really, man, I had some nice Uggs. I had a nice polo. I had a two little, nice little polo. But that's sweaters. crazy, though, bro. Yeah, but that out there, that's how some people make their living out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they make their living out there. I can't even load it up. That's who. Yet. That's who they. That's who they need to kick out the bay. The people but, doing that shit. But but yeah, what I'm saying, bro, the crime is crazy out there. Yeah, like people are really just leaving their windows down just so people don't. Get oh them. no! When we went to the club that night, I was like, damn, why is everybody got their windows down? And then they, when we went to the club, we was talking to the, some of the little uh, Irichia homies and stuff like that. It was like, yeah, bro, like we leave our windows down so they know, like, ain't nothing in here valuable. Mm. I'm like, what? It's raining outside. What? <laughs> L windows were down. Mm -hmm. I seen one dude had that trunk like halfway open just to <laughs> like, right, bro, I swear, it? man, when I went to, when I, I ain't gonna lie, and this is, I'm not trying to be funny. When I went to the Bay Area that one time when we went out there, me and me, it really did give me third world country vibes. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. It's like the, the oh, that part is like the wild, wild west. Like seriously, I seen one dude, it's like. Everybody was like in a line trying to go to Raw Way concert. This dude literally drives all on the other side of the street just to cut in front of everybody, just go up on the green light. I mean, not like just a little thing, but he drove like a mile on the wrong side, like stopped the other traffic from coming just to cut up. We no, go to okay. Walmart. Hold on. We go to Walmart and Target. I mean, we go to Walmart. Everything is buckled down like Fortnite. She was like, yeah, somebody, they'll come in here and steal a TV if they could. <laughs> the TVs are locked up. Mm -hmm. Like you know how you can The TVs are in glass cases The lotion I was like what the f I ain't never seen nothing like this mm -hmm. Then on Al 3 You got uh, uh, He might have been homeless But somebody was in there <laughs> Defecating <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what the f Every time we turned around It was something Some dude had like a werewolf in there it, I swear to Me and Mel was like Why are we here <laughs> I, 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 I can't understand it. Yeah. We have to go buy chargers again and stuff like that. But I'm just like, dog, this is crazy. And while the process of the lady telling us, oh, this is why we have it locked up, I swear to God, I can't make this up. A guy is literally like three things down, opening it up, stealing <laughs> the chargers out. I swear on my mama. The guy is literally stealing. Whatever. 
She was like, didn't y'all run into that same lady? Oh, the lady from Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we wasn't dressed earlier in the morning. We had just going to get coffee. And then we had walked into Walmart and she was like, oh, I knew you niggas have money. I knew it. I was like. Uh, I was like, Mil, me and Mill was like, uh, no, we don't. She was like, yeah, look, y'all got jury and all this stuff. And stuff. I knew y'all. Oh, girl, I, I, she was on the phone. She's like, nigga, I told you niggas had money. I was like, oh, God, I think we just, like, probably missed our blessing, Mill. <laughs> like, we didn't get robbed. <laughs> Something like, I swear, it was hilarious. You didn't even know she was setting y'all up. Yeah, bro, because she was behind us in Starbucks at, like, 7 in the morning. And then when she said, oh, I knew that was, I knew you niggas had money. She just walked up to us in Walmart. Like, we walk in there, she comes, she's like, oh, yep, I knew you niggas had money. I was just like, okay, did we miss something? <laughs> it was like, it was crazy. Like, it's just different, but Bay women are definitely aggressive. Oh, I, I, uh, boy. Listen, <laughs> Bay women are definitely aggressive. They do not, like, uh, this other shit that everybody else do. Uh, uh, yeah, me. They, uh, nigga, what? Uh, I, I promise you, I'll never forget. They were I, definitely trying to knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, but I was unknockable because you know I like um, I I have a preference of women that I like. We already discussed that, but yeah, they are definitely knocking niggas out. So, there. would you agree that California is a failed state? No, just certain areas. Nah, it's not a failed state because no, it's still man. here. It's still up and running. You're about to leave California. I am about to leave California. But why, why it's not le- I'm leaving because of taxes and like I said. Oh. Like I said, and this is this is and another thing too. My environment. I want to change my. I want to change my environment. What's your environment? What's the like? I'm just saying. Like I, I'm. I get bored with things. Fast. Like as you guys know, I like to travel. I like to do stuff. So, like leaving out of California, like the tickets here is hella high. If you want to go to Hawaii, you want to go to Atlanta. Like it's like six, seven, eight hundred dollars. I go to Vegas. Tickets one hundred twenty bucks. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's just like an overall thing. And I'm not saying I'm moving to Vegas, but I'm moving to Nevada. You know what I mean? Like, I want to just, I want to experience something different. Mm. And I don't want to keep paying, like, it's it's crazy. I'm paying, well, I was paying, like, two rents here in Fresno, right? I mean, I was seeing a return on them, but I'm just saying, like, what I'm spending here, I can go live like a celebrity anywhere else damn near. Like, 100, 150000 I can go damn near start building me a mansion in Texas. I can go get me a brand new, like, like. Really, like what I what, you know, everything you're saying is aligning in what what I said. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it's a failed state though, because I mean, you still got EBT here and Social Security and all that stuff. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a it's, lot. I mean, that. it's like off you, the books. California yeah, yeah. is like, it's just, you know like I mean? California is just like like you know your beaches is trash. There's homeless people. There's, there's the, it's the, some the, stuff we can't put on paper yeah, that are beneficial. Yeah, when you're and, in California, and, and, and not just that too. But man, if you go to another state, that's just like. Uh, let's say uh, New York. New York, a lot of people talk about it. it's trashy there. Yeah. It's messy. It's high. Is the rate? They taxes is as high as ours. So and they got crime. Yeah, so they got crime the too. Uh, you know, it's just like it is what it is. Are you gonna move out of California? Of course. When? Uh, can we talk about this off camera? Oh, okay, thank Due you. It's not le- legal obligation. But I don't think Cali's a yeah, foul state. Cal- it's man. not a foul state. It's not. It's not. It, it is. Now, if the San Andreas fall down, then it's a foul state. <laughs> we we are a country. Yeah. No, no, no. You know honestly, I mean? we I'm, are built for yeah. the the apex hustler. Yeah. Like, if you're weak, leave. Yeah. I don't even think leave, it, bro. Listen, but I don't even think it's not saying you're weak because yeah. there are people who leave yeah. and do better. Yeah. And you know, there's I more, say weak, especially as black people. Like yeah. Cali is like one of the last states, as far as major states, mm-hmm. that was settled, and that's yeah. why a lot of reason why a lot of things are the way they are, yeah. and it's separated. It's not like um, like the South, even though segregation doesn't exist. The South still has un 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 unread segregation, meaning like. There's black areas that are just straight black yeah. and white, and there's still unwritten laws. Yep, yeah. That's like, hey, there's still sundown towns yeah, and stuff like yep, that. For sure. Whereas California is a little more diverse, it's more systematic for racism sure. and all that kind of right, shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I'm never leaving Cali, man. Love Cali. Yeah. It's beautiful. I like it. I don't mind the homeless. They don't bother me. You know, I've lived amongst them for years, man. You know, don't <laughs> they don't bother me. You know, I'm gonna continue fucking. to give them their their change. I give them they change and shit like that, like, but it's just I, I swear. Oh my god, I was had the unpleasant experience of going to BPs and getting gas. And um, <laughs> what made you go to BPs? I, I was running. I shit. I seen I had five percent on my car, so I I had to go in there and make a, a, a get some gas. I come out as I'm getting gas, 
and the guy, it's a guy next to me, and the homeless guy walks up, look like a, look like about 22 years old. And he was just like, hey, bro, do you have some change? And I was like, I really didn't because I just left out the house. I only had like $40 on me. I was just like, nah, bro, I just literally put it in gas. He looked at me and looked at my car and was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? It's like, bro, I don't got no change. He was just like, like, he really did like this. He's like, <laughs> 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 like, looked at my car and was like, bro, where do you think the money went to? It's inside this car. He like, he was disappointed in me. For not having chance, like, bro, I'm sorry, like, I don't got no extra change. And then the guy that was getting gas on the side, he was like, ain't that a bitch? Like, <laughs> like, nigga, we got bills. You ain't got one bill. Like, they start getting into, say, you ain't got no bill. You sit out here hustling us, man. Like, come on, man. But yeah, the homeless Apex is, hustler. He didn't take no for an answer. <laughs> he did it, but shit, he damn sure didn't take no in, money with him either. In, in, his, <laughs> in, in his class, as a panhandler, man. he's apex. Man, listen. You know what I mean? He ain't taking no for an answer. So. He didn't take a step further. He'd have been something else because I was like, bro, look. I, I like you. He really looked at my car and was like, I was just like, what the fuck? I ain't never seen no shit like that. Usually, you know, they say you say no. They just, okay, you know. But, like, nigga, if I had the change, I would have given it to you. But I didn't have no, no Fresno Street has some aggressive homeless people. I'm not yeah. going to lie. They yeah, do not. Yeah, they really do. They like, do. I feel like. They train you. You feel me? <laughs> I feel like each each section in Fresno has a different type of yeah. homeless people. Yeah, for sure. And Fresno Street are some of the greediest <laughs> homeless people. And they do not take no for an answer. Yeah. One motherfucker was washing my car already. I said, <laughs> I hope you got Apple Pay because I don't, I don't got shit on me. Bro. That shit is crazy though. Like, bro, what do you what like? What is the what is the, like the issue with saying, bro? I just need a California ID. I could go sit at Walmart and be a greeter. Yeah, yeah. you gotta get hired. Drugs, bro. bro. Drugs, bro. Drugs is real. We people got family members. People don't want to show up. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's what it is. You know. Yes. But,